talk is very cheap. Mm, anybody can come and say anything. Uh, but you haven't walked in people's shoes. You don't know how much it pinches them. You don't know how much of an effort they are putting. And you don't know the entirety of their lives simply by watching their 8 minutes or maybe 20 minutes video. Good morning! The start of a vlog. Like, making vlogs. Vlogging has never been my thing. Because I presume that it's very very demanding it's very tough to vlog because i can't imagine every time bringing out my camera when i'm outside or inside and then everyone will start looking at you like especially in the western world here when you bring a camera every time like especially when you're outside or you're supposed to just be staring at you like what's this one doing like some of them will even be smiling like it's strange totally strange they seldom take pictures here they seldom take pictures. Even if you check their like Facebook market and then you check their profile, majority of them don't have pictures as much. Unlike we, we like to take pictures. I don't know, they don't like taking pictures, but it, there are always exceptions. Like some of them while taking pictures outdoors, some of them will come and join you and you know just hug you and smile. But generally, I think majority of them don't like taking pictures randomly, and that's why. When you want to take pictures out or you want to film, you try to avoid capturing them. I've had instances when I was filming outdoor and someone came to meet me, oh, are you filming me? And I'm like, who are you that I'll be filming you? <laughs> so guys, I'm starting a vlog this morning. Oh, it's the second day of March 2024. And once again, happy new month. <laughs> Oh, so there are so many things lined up for me in this new month. Um, yeah, my son's fourth birthday is tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow is his birthday. <laughs> vlog today is the 7th of march 2024 and the last time i made a vlog was the 2nd of march so i just realized that ah, i have a vlog go after i watched prudence apinoko's video and vicky's corners videos i just realized that oh i have a vlog that i need to continue so guys these are two youtubers prudence apinoko is a uk youtuber who's a vlogger that talks about lifestyle and her faith in jesus christ while wow, Vicky's Connor is a Nigerian YouTuber who is a reactor that reacts to, you know, videos of big YouTubers. <laughs> Fun fact is that I got to know about Prudence Apinoko through Vicky's Connor while I was still in Nigeria. So I started watching Prudence Apinoko and I found her vlogs quite interesting. So I stayed glued. Prudence came to the UK via the study route and Currently, they need to get a post-study work visa. They need to change to PSW and then because of the changes in immigration law and especially the increment in IHS by 66%, all the money that you have saved towards this PSW has become like insufficient. So she came on a platform, which is a YouTube channel, to ask people, okay, if you think you can help, if God is laying it on your heart to help, just like pastors we do in church, don't hesitate to help us. And Vicky's Corner reacted about a video that, oh, this is not her first time. She has always been begging online. And then she gave us pieces of advice. And those advice came as rude and, you know, painful to Prudence. 
and I tried to put myself in Prudence's shoes and I realized that I would have felt odd too because of course we have blood and water running through our veins. We are first humans before we are YouTubers. So I quite understand why Prudence would have felt that way to come out and do some shalaye, you know, so to give a response to what reactors and our commenters, our viewers, some of our subscribers who are still in Nigeria may have been the ones dropping such hateful comments. But basically, if you ask me, if I were to be in Nigeria, I would probably have supported Vicky that, okay, after all, you were just doing your job, but being in the UK and seeing the situation of things, I usually feel for students. After those on asylum, I think it is tough on students, really, because a lot of them have just deposited for their school fees with the hope that when we move here, we are going to pay up and, you know, uh, have a good life. But by the time they came here, they realized that students cannot do more than 20 hours. So the reality will dawn on them. And imagine the dependent that's supposed to do the more of the work is pregnant. And life just happens. After all, she couldn't have terminated the pregnancy. And also, there are people that were not pregnant from Nigeria or from their own country. But on arriving in the UK after a couple of months, they became pregnant, unplanned. They won't terminate it now, Abby. Where then they ask a uh, housewife where she get belly from? She get husband now, and then they do the do. So that one is inevitable. But not everybody um, is comfortable going for family planning. I think it's gonna give unsolicited advice, in my opinion. Yes, I know that Prudence puts out her personal life, but you can't use like a 10 or 20 minute video to judge a person or to think that you know all about them or because they have said one or two things about their life, so you now use it against them. It feels like if I were Prudence, I would have felt like this person was talking to me like I, I was a child. For goodness sake, I'm an adult and Prudence is responsible for whatever actions or whatever decisions she has made and her family has made. Uh, migrating to the UK was their decision. Uh, building a house was a decision. Yeah, we all make poor decisions, but we still have that human right to make the decisions anyway. So whether poor or good decisions, it is her choice and she will dance to the tune of the music. And now she's, she's found herself in a kind of a mess uh, regarding the IHS and the PSW fee and then she has used that platform because she has a voice and a platform she has used it to just chip in that okay if you are willing to help or if you have any help that you can render or any solution sometimes it may not even be money I've found people here that their visas were about to expire and they didn't know what to do just from communicating that, okay, you could extend your visa. Some of them don't have all this information. Not everybody, don't assume that everybody knows what to do. But coming online to seek for help can even help them get the necessary information that would liberate them from whatever tough or struggle that they are going through at that point in time. I don't think you should attack personality or uh, try to um, judge people. Don't be too judgmental in your reactions. Just give room that not everybody thinks like you. Not everybody's exactly like you. Not everybody is as wise as you are. And people are born to make mistakes. And our mistakes don't define us. Every time we all make mistakes and then we all make poor decisions. But we learn from our decisions. Let me go back to my vlogging. Guys, I've got a lot of things lined up for me in this month of March. Yeah, first I celebrated my son's fourth birthday and um, my home birthday is on the line. It's coming in a matter of days. And last year birthday, I remember that I intentionally made it the day we landed the UK. So I booked that flight a day to be a day before my birthday such that on, the, on, on my birthday, 12 a.m. we're in the plane. And we arrived at our destination in the UK on my birthday. So it was quite a memorable one for me. And I look forward to this year's birthday as well. Bombshell is that we are relocating. Yeah, yeah, you heard me right. And I'm going to take you through our journey. And we're going to move from here. And then you get to know where we are moving to in my future videos. And in a sit-down video, we're going to... Why am I saying we? I'm going to recount my one year experience in the UK. How it has played out. Expectations versus realities. So expect those two videos. Mm -mm, expect, yeah. That sit down video and this vlog. So 
I most likely would put out this blog maybe after relocation. Perhaps. I don't know how it's going to be. But basically, that's it.